the cadaver that is lying down on the prone position and you can see the back prison along with the scapula this is the scapula along with the scapular muscles around it and the brachial plexus that is formed by the anterior primary rami of the lower four cervical nerves and the first thoracic nerve you can clearly see the three trunks of the brachial plexus and the three trunks of the brachial plexus these are the upper trunk middle trunk and the lower trunk the upper trunk that is formed by the this c5 and the c7 you can clearly see this one is the c5 and the c6 c5 and the c6 that is uniting for, to form the upper trunk this one is the c7 and the this is c8 this is c8 and the c8 and the t1 that is uniting to form the lower trunk upper trunk middle trunk and the lower trunk these are the root values c5 c6 c7 c8 and the t1 and these root values these are uniting to form the three trunk and these three trunks are the upper trunk middle trunk and the lower trunk and these three trunks which is again going to divide into the anterior division and the posterior division this upper trunk that is going to divide into anterior and the posterior this middle trunk that is again going to divide into the anterior division and the posterior division and this lower trunk that is again going to divide into the anterior and the posterior division you can clearly see the struct root values these are the root this is the c5 c6 and here you can see the artery this artery is the subclavian artery and the roots and the trunks which is present in the root of the neck then it runs laterally it runs up to the axilla and it will give division root will give the trunks and trunk that is going to divide into the divisions and the division that is going to give the cord and these cords will that will give the branches 